Hi there. Welcome to Get2 Plugins tutorial series. In the last tutorial, I explained how you can show color, image, and label swatches in the shop category pages. If you missed the tutorial video, you can find the tutorial link in the description below. Today, I'm going to show you another awesome feature of this plugin. Using this feature, you can show single selected attribute and its variation on the shop category page. Your variable product may have plenty of attributes. If you followed my last tutorial, you can notice when you enable archive page attribute swatches settings, it will show entire attribute for variable product in the shop category page like the product page. You can notice in this screen, I have color and label attribute for this product. If you get into this product page, it has the same color and size attribute, right? Now head to the product catalog demo. You can notice this variable product has single color attribute in the category page. But if you get into this product page, you can see it has two attribute, color and size, right? To enable this feature, I'm assuming you have premium version of WooCommerce Variation Swatches plugin activated beside the free. Head to the special attribute from the swatches settings. Navigate to catalog mode. To enable the catalog mode feature, make sure you have show single attribute option enabled. From choose attribute drop down, pick your desired attribute that you want to show in the shop category page. You can notice I have color attribute selected. I think you are now curious about the catalog mode display event, right? Let me explain a bit. It has two options on click and on hover. On click option will change the variation image in the shop category page when you click on the attribute variation. On the other hand, on hover setting will change the variation image on hover over. After selecting global attribute, you can find some of your variable products don't have attribute connected with this. Or you may want to show different attribute for some variable products. To handle this request, I have an option added for each product. You can notice for this variable product, image attribute is showing instead of color attribute, right? Let me show how I have done this. Head to the product page and get into the product edit mode. Navigate to swatches settings from product data. You can notice I have image attribute selected from catalog mode attribute setting. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to select size attribute. You can notice now it's showing size attribute in the shop category page for this variable product. Hopefully you have got proper idea for these settings. That's all for today. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and stay connected.